In this video, we'll learn to calculate using compound measures, including speed, density, and rates of fail. We'll start with the rates of fail because that you're more likely to have come across it before or to have used it in everyday life. So we've got the rates of fail, which are equal to pay over time. And how can we remember that? When you ask somebody how much they earn, they might say £10 per hour, £500 per week, or £2,000 per month, just a few examples. So what they're giving us is the amount or pay, however you like to denote that, with a P or with an A, however you find it easier to remember. So that would be the pay over time, because we're saying per hour, per week or per month. So to illustrate with an example, if somebody earns £1,530, for example, for 15 hours, then we'd, the way that we'd work it out, it'd be by dividing 1530 by 15, and that gives us 102 so that is £102 per hour because we input hours, so we said 15 hours, and that's what we get out. We input pounds and that's what we get out as well. When it comes to speed, the working out is very similar to the rates of pay. So again, when you ask somebody what speed they're traveling at or when you look at speed limits you get something like 30 miles per hour that means that within an hour they're going to travel 30 miles if they travel at a constant speed so speed is worked out by dividing the distance which is in this case 30 miles it could be 50 kilometers over time so we've got that time here given in hours but it could be in minutes in seconds so to illustrate with an example we might have a car traveling at 45 miles for maybe 1.5 hours so that's what we do 45 divided by 1.5 gives us 30 so what is that 30? 30 is miles per hour. So whatever we import, that's what we get out. So for rates of fate and speed, it was quite straightforward because we can use the units that we describe amounts that we paid in everyday life or speed and use those to get the formula up. So rates of pay equals the pay or amount over time and speed is distance over time. And plug the values in and we get the answers. But when it comes to density, density is not as much of a familiar term or the formula at least is not. So what I'm gonna do very briefly, I'll show you two boxes of the same size one if one of these is filled with sheets of paper and the other is filled with tissues then filled up this is likely to weigh more so the mass of this box will be greater now when it comes to density, as we said, we look at mass as well as volume. So these two boxes have the same volume because they take up the same amount of space. But this one has a greater mass. As a result, this one is gonna have a greater density because it has a greater mass. So for the same volume, one of them has a greater mass. So, the way we work out density is by getting the mass and dividing it by the volume. Here is one example, 30 grams for 
or per cubic meter. So if the mass of an item is, let's say, 432 grams and the volume is perhaps 100 cubic centimeters. Now, what is its density? Again, 432 divided by 100. That gives us 4.32 grams per cubic centimeter. This last formula is more likely to be forgotten or to not be remembered. So here is a clue or a trick. So if I write M as a small m over V, these two together, they make the shape of a heart if joined together. So that's a way to remember it perhaps. One last thing that I want to discuss here is that sometimes, although you might know the formula, it might be a bit trickier to work out one of the answers. The reason being is that sometimes instead of being asked to work out the speed, you may, may be asked to work, out, to work out the distance or time. So let's illustrate. For example, let's say you've been given that the speed that a car is travelling at is 30 miles per hour. So that is 30 miles per hour. And you're also given that it takes the time that it takes the car to travel being maybe 1.5 hours. So that is the speed and that's how long the car has travelled for. Now, can you work out the distance? And we know from this example what it is, but what if you didn't know? So if this value is missing, the, the actual distance is missing, how do you work it out? And I have a suggestion. I would like, if you don't know already what to do, I would suggest that you write a similar sentence to this one that is equal or that is true in maths. Let's say um, I can say that 3 is equal to 6 divided by 2. So it's very similar to this, but it is true at the same time. So actually 3 is equal to 6 divided by 2. So if I wanted to work out what is this figure at the top just like the six over there so how can I rearrange this to make it equal to that six so that I can say something like six is equal to what so what do I do to two and three and I multiply two times three so I'm going to do the same thing over here I go distance is equal to 1.5 times 30 which is equal to 45 and you can actually do the same thing use the same method for any of these three